Okay, uh, I'm sure Jeff Sika is a guy who's made some some winning bets, and and I'm sure a few losing bets too. In your long storied career, tell me if you have a pile of uh, dry powder, so to speak, where do you start salting it into the markets on a day like this? If you were gutsy enough to do so, I, I think t right now it's way too soon to start buying into this market, and I know that a lot of people. This is not even uh, to me. This doesn't even classify as a dip. So a lot of people are saying, should I try to buy back and, and, and get some momentum and, and pick a bottom? Great point. We're not near the bottom at this point. If we are, if there's going to be a buying opportunity, there needs to be oh a much greater. To that point, that. look at this one year high. Remember February where everybody thought it was so awful? We're not even close to the February low. No, I, and, and see, and what, what Charlie said, what Art said is very true. We are in the blackout period right now, as Art said, and that blackout period does not allow these companies to buy back their shares. The one thing that's been supporting the market is these companies come in, they create this momentum by buying back their shares, and, and traders jump on the share buybacks to try to capitalize but on Jeff, that momentum. Jeff, one thing that scares me about that is, is that generally those share buy, buybacks are ephemeral in the sense they, they last for a little bit, right? And then they come back, then stock starts tra trading down on earnings and other things. And I'll, I'll tell you that if this is economy right now, and this is, again, this is what's kind of scary, that the tax cut was used to buy back shares and not put money into the real economy, not grow the business, uh, you know, then you're not going to have the GDP push that, that you should have. And then you do have a potential problem with growth and, 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 higher, and, much, and higher interest rates on top of the other higher interest rates that we're getting just from the Fed easing. Well, and also look I'm at the, cutting back on easing or, yeah. or, or normalizing, excuse me. Yeah, and look, look at the fact that a lot of these corporations are able to go out and borrow at next to nothing. Yep. And they're borrowing and then taking that borrowed money and buying their own shares and l reducing the liquidity. I've had a hard time with this market and finding any value in this market primarily for that reason because there is not a lot of value. And now all of a sudden, when you're finally hearing, I mean, to hear the inflation word, when the labor markets tightened as, and are as tight as they are, and having, having investors finally concerned that tight labor markets could in fact create inflation leads a lot of people to believe that the Fed or low interest rates are what I consider artificially low interest rates. Is that rates, what's going to happen are next? Are not going to support us. And, and, and Art, weigh in.